The fourth component of the tree of life are the simple letters. Those letters that have just one way of pronouncing, etc. Okay, simple. Um, <clears throat> now these are 12 diagonal paths and they each have basically three sets of symbols that belong to them. First and foremost is their astrological sign. Now these are, these are the 12 signs of the zodiac. The second is their elemental correspondence because each sign is uh, assigned to an element. So each of these paths has an elemental correspondence. Each quadrangle forms the quadrupolar magnet of initiation into hermetics. The opposition of the elements is laid out here in each of the quadrangles, okay? They are essentially the elements in each of these three realms. The supernal realm, the mental realm, and the astral realm, okay? Then there is also the ruling planet of the zodiacal sign. So there is this subtle layer of symbolism to these 12 signs that correspond to the planets, but in a different way than the planetary let letters. Now these <clears throat> diagonal paths introduce an incredible amount of motion to the symbol, and they, they make it a truly stable structure now with this inclusion of the diagonal paths. So, <clears throat> we have three sets of four. That is how these uh, zodiacal paths are uh, separated. It's not by season, which would be three signs per season, but by division of the year into three parts, corresponding or surrounding each of the mother letters. This is a quadrangular division of the tree. It divides the tree into those three realms of the mother letters. This is all about extensions of the mother letters, essentially. And it, it really defines the, the archetypal relationships between the four sephirot of each quadrangle. They are the same basic set of relationships from one quadrangle to the next. So, the top right on the diagram is a fire sign. It's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. The top left are earth signs. We have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Then the bottom right, taking them in sequence here, the bottom right are the uh, air signs. We have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Then the bottom left are the water signs. We have Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Now, <clears throat> The fire and earth paths, the two upper ones in these quadrangles, the two upper ones, emanate from the middle pillar and distribute their influences, its influence, to the side pillars. Okay, do you see that? Starts from the middle pillar and descends to the side pillars. Okay, that's the natural flow, direction of flow of those paths. The two bottom ones on each quadrangle <clears throat> go from the side pillars to a lower level on the pillar of self, okay? 
Do you see that? Er, <coughs> air and water go into the lower level of the um, pillar of self in each quadrangle, okay? <clears throat> now, the, the path of uh, fire signs, they're all creative. There's an energy to these uh, areas. It's transmitting the, the awareness, the I awareness, from I to I am. And that shift of awareness is very strong there. And same with Leo. This is the light of the individual self entering its realm, okay? And then with Sagittarius. It's the light of the astral self entering into its realm, okay? These are a light passes down each of these fire paths. Then second is the earth path, and it's all about form. <clears throat> From Kether to essential form in Bina. <clears throat> then Virgo is the form of the individual self really defining itself in Gibura. And same with Capricorn. It is that personal self with all of its personal choices and oddities and flavors manifesting in hog. Okay. Now the air path which brings <clears throat> Hokma into Tiferet, that influence of Hokma into Tiferet. Now this is, it sort of brings something new to the mix. It's here it's about other. It's about that recognition of other that comes down from Hokma, the realm of essential meaning, into Tiferet. And lower down, Libra. It's about balancing those opposites in, uh, of nature, of one's nature, in Yesar. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then Aquarius coming down into Malkuth. It's the vibration. It's that vibration of energy that is shifting between self and other and sort of negotiating that relationship between self and other. And then, we have the water paths. Now these paths are special because they are the mother paths. Each of them gives birth to the next level of self. That path of Heth between Bina and Tiferet, Cancer, the crab. Now, a crab gives birth to hundreds of thousands of eggs each time it spawns. Uh, from hundreds of thousands to over a million eggs each time. During its lifetime, it will give birth to millions of eggs, every crab. So that's why the crab cancer is assigned to this path because it's the path through which Bina gives birth to the individual selves that form the temporal realm. Okay? So it gives birth to Tiferet. Scorpio, Nun, the path of Nun, from Gebura into Yesod, is... <clears throat> that so well-defined individuality of Gebura giving birth to the sentient self, the sentient self, the truly personal self, the truly 
unique self the that is the my the me the the i am at this lower level <clears throat> in yesod the astral body in yesod and then the path of kuf of pisces coming from hod into malkuth this is the final defining of the little self this gives birth to the physical body to the physical form to that binding is the final binding to physicality here in kuf in pisces the end of the zodiac that come the next sign is again that aries okay <clears throat> so the uh, diagonal paths bring this movement and really bind the paths together in the tree of life <clears throat> the next paths are the hidden paths which are a totally different beast altogether the paths so far have connected either the pillars with the mother paths it was all one level of self connecting the two side pillars then the planetary paths which connected uh, the levels of self vertically go from one level of self to the next level of self in the central pillar and the side pillars now the diagonal paths they lead they first fill out each level of self and then connect it to the next they fill out and connect fill out and connect okay so there's much more movement here and they establish the real dynamism of the tree of life the hidden paths will take those connections far further and we will connect the supernal realm directly to the temporal realm okay but that will be next time okay till then bye bye